Say hello everybody, this is Vitaly here at Five Store Markets again. And like I said uh, last night, uh, I was thinking about ordering an amp this morning and uh, I hadn't really received any emails on my other reviews, but uh, I did get an email from Ron J27 asking me uh, if I knew anything about the uh, Behringer EP2000 because that was an amplifier that he was interested in. So, uh, seeing as how I had to order an amp anyway, I thought, well, that's what we would look into this morning. So, uh, we'll move the compute the camera around here to where y'all can see my, my screen, and we'll just we'll look that up right quick and see about ordering it. Okay, I've got the uh, camera moved around here, and uh, hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing on the screen. And he was asking about an EP2000, and I looked it up on YouTube, and he's right. There was absolutely not one single review covering the EP2000. Uh, there was one on its big brother, the EP4000, but the EP2000 is uh, probably going to be close to what I'm looking for, so let's go ahead and uh, come over to zzsounds.com and do a search for the Behringer EP2000. Oh, there it is. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the specifications right quick. Uh, at 8 ohms, it's 350 watts per side. That's not what it says on the screen, but I know that that's right. At 4 ohms, it's 500 watts per side. At 2, two ohms, it's 650 watts per side or per channel, however you want to look at it. 8 ohms at bridge mode is 1,000 watts. 4 ohms bridge is 1,300 watts. That'll probably be... be exactly what I'm looking for. I'm wanting to use it as a smaller venue. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back here. Yeah, it uses speak on. So let's go ahead and uh, get this over. We'll just add it to the cart here. And uh, since that does use speak on, and I've already got speaker cable that uses the one quarters, we need to order some adapters here. Let's go ahead and order some adapters. We need to make that two of them. Let's go ahead and click update. And uh, as I had mentioned in an earlier video, this is going to qualify for the four payment method. So I'm going to click apply that. And as you can see, my first payment is going to be eighty-three dollars and forty-two cents, and then I'll have three more payments of seventy-nine and forty-seven. So uh, let's go ahead and get that paid for you. I don't need to see this part, so uh, I'm going to pause the camera and get right back to you. Okay, we got that ordered, and I took the liberty of going ahead and ordering some uh, patch cables and a uh, insert snake and a couple of other things that we need to for a couple of other projects I've got going on. So. Uh, Hopefully UPS will be here in a minute and we'll get to unbox it and uh, show you what it looks like. Well, as you can see, UPS has made it here with the amplifier. So I'm going to get this out of the box and uh, we'll take a good look at it right quick here. Let me get this out of the box. Well, as you can see, I've got it out of the box. I'm going to start with the back. I realize most people start with the front, but here in a minute I'm going to pick this up turn it around and hook it up and I don't want to have to move it twice I've already got my dip switches configured here uh, notice it comes with a cover over the uh, binding post which I'm just gonna leave it on because I don't ever intend to use those it's got a, a 15 amp breaker switch on the back and of course your speak ons and uh, I'm gonna tell you right now it's, it's actually quite heavy it's uh, like 48 pounds we probably should have went with the EPQ 2000 because it's half the weight, but this this will work for right now because uh, I, I fully intend that they're coming out with uh, the iNuk series sometimes after January, and I intend to snag one of those first chance I get because they're uh, one quarter of the weight of this one. Uh, and yes, you heard me right, one quarter. Uh, EPQ 2000 is half the weight. And the new iNukes are going to be half of that again, so I, I, I've just I've got to get one and try it out and let y'all know how that works. Anyway, we're going to turn this around right quick so y'all can see the front. And uh, you have to bear with me because it is quite heavy. Oh! 
Anyway, here's the front of it. And as I mentioned in, in one of my other, other videos, the main thing to consider when you're mounting these in a rack or any amp is uh, these things do put out some heat. And uh, if you notice, it's got the uh, air intake here on the front with the filter. It's what we call a draw through design. It pulls air in the front, and blows it out the back. And uh, uh, believe me, that, that'll go a long ways towards saving your equipment and saving your amp. So let's get this hooked up and see how it works. Okay, I've got the Behringer AP2000 hooked up and we're going to turn it on. One of the things, I've done turned it on, but one of the things I've noticed is it is quite noisy. Anyway, it's got it on, it's uh, all ready to go. I recorded a, a song for uh, uh, Cure the Infection. And you can uh, actually hear the whole song. It's on a, another video here on this channel. So uh, let's get this all ready to go and queued up. this uh, in a live venue and uh, give it a, a workout I assure you if, uh, if I can't burn it up then we'll be all right uh, all that being said if you absolutely had to have an amp today then uh, yeah I'd probably order the EP2000 or, the, or better yet the EPQ2000 because the EPQ2000 puts out a, a hundred more watts per channel and weighs half of what this one weighs, this one weighs 48 pounds and the uh, EPQ2000 like I said weighs half that 24 pounds but if you can put it off a month or so I would wait because uh, Behringer is coming out with a, a new series called the iNukes and uh, they'll weigh one quarter of what this weighs and, and yeah you heard me right one quarter like I said this is 48 pounds and the uh, EPQ 2000 weighs half what this one weighs and the iNukes are going to weigh half of that. They're going to weigh 12 pounds. Uh, they're also computer programmable. You can know. Uh, they've got a USB port on the front with a LCD display. They're, they look like they're going to be really nice and just as soon as I can get my hands on one of those I'll, I'll bring it back and uh, show it to you and we'll give it a workout. Uh, if you can wait for that one, then by all means wait. If not, then if you're looking for something in the 2,000 watt range, I would go with either this one or the EPQ 2000. Uh, I worry about weight because I have a bad back, and if you have to tote this stuff in and out, night after night after night, that's real important. But uh, for you younger guys that are in better shape, if you need one right now, then yeah, I think this is going to be a hell of an amp. Anyway. Uh, Stay tuned in January and hopefully we'll have some video up with this being used at some live venues. Uh, I know the 4th I'm 
booked for an open mic night at a, a, a bar here in town, and that one ought to give it a hell of a workout because there's going to be 20 or 30 uh, artists there and three or four bands. And then that same week, uh, January 7th, I've got a band booked at the same venue. So uh, hopefully you'll catch us there. And uh, anyway, stay tuned for the... Like I said, the video's up the first year. we got a lot going on, and hopefully we'll get to a lot more stuff going. This is Vitaly here at Firestorm Records, and y'all have a nice day.